Salama Lumanya. We traveled up a river that had no name, heading for a green alp in the jungled highlands. The river curved into a shady vestibule where the hardwood trees came down to the waterline and the canopy nearly blocked out the sun. In a clearing on the left-hand bank, under a ramen tree arching over the river, a small, slat-sided hut perched on palm pylons. We motored down and glided onto a gravel bar. Our last sight of human life lay three days and two tributaries behind us. An hour later, a young woman walked from the jungle, leading a naked girl toddler with one hand and dragging a big, ripe jackfruit in the other. Near sundown, the woman's husband pulled ashore in a hand-hewn motorized dugout. He invited us inside the hut. Seamus dug out some shag tobacco and we smoked huge cigarettes rolled from the pages of a Raymond Chandler paperback I had in my pack. One of our group spoke Bahasa, and we learned that for five years, the man had panned gold from a network of creeks nearby. Recently, he had tickled out fortune enough to move back to Bandung and do most anything he chose, even buy a car. But he and his wife had no plans to leave. They would stay there on the riverside, Salama Lamanya. Forever, he said, and his wife nodded. The woman fried some rice and we rustled up guavas and alligator pears. Then the man invited us to follow him, and for nearly two hours we walked upstream along the river, more feeling than seeing our way. The sky burned with stars, but there was no moon, and the closing jungle was dark and the lazy river black as ink. The man stopped and swam out into the river. We followed, and rolling onto our backs, let the delicate current carry us along. We floated through the night. Nobody said a word. On both sides, the banyans rose in the black decor. Back in the hut, as we prepared for sleep, the man tapped out his pipe and said that when the day came, that he found himself old and tired. He would make amends to Allah and wait for night to fall. He would have a last meal of rice and durian fruit and would say goodbye to his family. Then he would wade out into the river and drift with the current. He would not swim to shore. He would just keep on going. Salama, Lamanya. Mm -hmm.